friends. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Math Today. Today for math, you will need from your Envisions workbook pages 261 and 262, and then 263 and 264. You will also need a pencil. So go ahead and pause the video and grab the materials that you need. All right, friends, welcome back. Before we take a look at our learning target, let's go over some of our numbers and counting to keep practicing. So I'm gonna shuffle our cards up and all I want you to do is say the number with me. Ready? Here we go. 10, 8, 17, 18, 7, 15, 11, 12, 14, 13, 9, 19, 16, 20, 3, 6, 5, 2, 4, 1. Very good job. Now, let's take a look at our number line and use it to help us practice counting in order or in sequence. I have our number line starting at zero again, but we're gonna count starting at one, the number that comes after zero. Ready, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good job. So today for math, we're gonna look at our learning target. It says, I can count how many objects are in different categories. So we're gonna continue practicing sorting objects into groups or putting them into categories based on things that are alike and things that are different. So for example, if I wanted to separate you guys into groups, I could say we could put the girls in a group and the people that are not girls into a group, for example, the boys. Or I could put all of the boys in a group and the people that are not boys in a group, for example, the girls. So I have a practice example on the board like we did yesterday. But today our T chart shows us that we're looking for squares versus shapes that are not squares. So let's count first of all how many squares are up here. I'll mark out as we count. I see some black squares and a green square. So let's count. I have one, two, three squares. So I'm going to tally, or not tally, we, they look like tally marks, but I'm going to draw three lines. One, two, three, to show that there are three squares. I'm also going to write a number three underneath it. Now let's count the shapes that are not squares. So I see hearts and circles up here. Even though hearts and circles are not the same shape, what they have in common is that they're not a square. So let's count how many there are. We have one, two, three, Four. So now I'm going to draw four lines. One, two, three, four, under the square with the X to show that these are the, the shapes that are not squares. There are four of them, and I'm going to write a four to match it. Now, if I wanted to compare those two, I could look at my T-chart, and I see that there are more lines in the side with the square with the X on it versus the side with just the square. So that shows me that we have more shapes that are not squares than we do that are squares. So today we're going to do a very similar activity on our math activity sheet. So let's take a look at our solve and share. It tells us that Carlos's kindergarten class got some new playground material or equipment. Okay. And on the playground, there are several things that have wheels and several things that do not. So what we need to do is put into categories the equipment that have wheels versus the things that do not have wheels. So if you look closely at the equipment on the playground, you can see that there are some bikes, some toy cars, some play cars, so let's count the pictures that have wheels. Ready? I want you to count and mark out two. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. 
there are five pieces of, of equipment on the playground that have wheels. So next to your big wheel over here, I want you to write the number five. Okay. Now, let's count the equipment that do not have wheels. So let's count and mark them out. Ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's write a seven next to the wheel with the X on it. So we can see that which group has more, the equipment with wheels or without? Without, right? There are more pieces of equipment on the playground without wheels than there are with wheels. So I want you to circle your seven to show that seven is greater than five. And I want you to put your X on your five to show that five is less than seven. So now we see that there's slides, monkey bars, swings, different equipment like that that do not have wheels versus the bikes and cars that are on the playground. All right, once you're finished with that, go ahead and flip to the back to our guided practice. Our guided practice shows us different colored crayons at the bottom. Our directions say that we're gonna sort the crayons into crayons that are blue versus crayons that are not blue. So they already gave us an example. Today with the T-chart, they only have the example of numbers here, but we also know how to count using the lines. Let's start by counting and marking out our blue crayons to see how many there are. Ready? One, two, three, four. How many blue crayons are there? Four. Let's trace our four. Down and over and down once more. That's the way to make a four. Okay, and then let's count now how many are not blue. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven are not blue. So I'm gonna trace the seven on the side of the T-chart with the blue crayon with the X. Okay, now I'm not gonna have you do the next part because it's the opposite of what we've been practicing, but they showed us blue versus not blue and wanted us to compare. So instead of doing the next part of the directions, as they tell us, I'm gonna give you a different direction. I want you to look at your T-chart. I want you to circle the number that is greater and X the number that is less. I'm gonna circle the seven because seven is greater than four. And I'm gonna X the four because four is less than seven. So now I just showed on paper that I know that there's a less number of blue crayons versus the color of crayons that are not blue. Okay, so today we're gonna to continue practicing that. I want you to flip past page 263 because that's what you're gonna do on your own for your teacher's Google Classroom. And I want you to flip to the back where we see numbers four, five, and six. We're gonna start at the top with the sports balls. So it tells us to sort the balls into a group that are yellow versus the group that are not yellow balls. So they're telling us to look at the color of the balls. Well, we see we have tennis balls, baseballs, volleyballs, and basketballs here. But we're gonna use our T-chart to show the number of yellow balls versus the number of balls that are not yellow. So let's first count and mark out the yellow balls. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. How many yellow balls are there? Five. Let's write a five under the yellow ball on the T-chart. Now let's count and mark out how many are not yellow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight balls are not yellow. So I'm gonna write an eight on the side with the ball with the X. Okay. Now, we're gonna circle the number that's greater and X the number that is less. So I'm gonna circle the eight and X the five to show that five is less than eight and eight is greater than five. So which group has more? The balls that aren't yellow or the balls that are? The balls that are not yellow, great. Now let's take a look at the next problem. If at all this is going too quick for you, you can pause the video along the way and catch up where you need to. 
All right, let's look at our pencils. We're gonna look at the pencils that are green versus the pencils that are not green. Our directions tell us something a little different, but I think that that's tricky to our eyeballs because it tells us to sort the short versus long pencils. But we're gonna sort the pencils by green versus not green. So let's first count and mark out the green pencils. We have one, two, three, four, five, six green pencils. So let's write six underneath our green pencil on our T-chart. Now let's count and mark out the pencils that are not green. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Woo, a lot of pencils are not green. 10, so we're gonna write our 10 on the T-chart with the side that has the X. Now, I want you to compare the two. Which group has more? Circle the number that's greater. 10, X the number that's less. Six, we know six is less than 10 and 10 is greater than six. So which group has a less amount? The green pencils or the pencils that are not green? The green pencils have a less amount than the pencils that are not green. Good job. Now, down at the bottom, we have our challenger problem. It tells us the fish are sorted into fish that have spots and fish that do not have spots. So if you look closely, you can see the green fish have spots on them. And in the other tank, these fish do not have spots. Let's see where I am in the directions. I lost my spot. So we're gonna draw fish so that the categories, so each tank has an equal number of fish. Then we're gonna write how many are in each tank on the line. So first we need to start in the tank that has the greater amount so that we know we can fill the other tank to match that. So which group has a more fish in it? The first tank or the second tank? The second tank. So let's count how many there are. We have one, two, three, four, five. So let's go ahead and write a five on the line. We know that we need to start with the greater group because it's paper. We can't take any fish out of the tank. So we're gonna add to it. Our directions tell us to draw the fish, not erase or mark X's on any. So let's look at our other tank. Let's count how many spotted fish there are. We have one, two, three. Is three equal to five? No, three is less than five. Let's take a look at our number line. I have three and then I have one spot, two spots that get me to five, okay? So that means that I need to add how many more fish to my tank to have five all together. Three add what equals five? Well, if I have three on my fingers and I need to get to five, I see I put up one, two more fingers to get to that number. So we need to add two more fish. So our fish shape is kind of like an oval with a triangle at the end. So we're gonna draw two of those. But remember, this tank has spots. So once you draw your fish, make sure to add some spots to it. And then we're gonna count five. So I have one, two, three, four, five fish. And then I'm gonna write a five on the line. So even though they're in two separate categories, now we've made the categories equal. All right, so I want you to flip back to page 263. On this side, you are going to start at the top with your yellow blocks, and they want you to sort them into categories based on the blocks that have the letter A on it versus the blocks that do not have a letter on it. So you're gonna count and mark out your letter A blocks, write how many you have, then you're gonna count and mark out your blank boxes with no A's, write how many you have on the other side of your T-chart. Then you're gonna circle the number that's greater and X the number that is less, okay? So those directions are different than what the directions on the math paper tell you. It's what we've been practicing on our other problem. So if you need to rewind what I just said to know what the directions are, make sure to do that. Same thing for the bottom. 
you're going to count first the books that are open versus the books that are not open, okay? Once you're finished writing your numbers into your T-chart, you're gonna circle the number that's greater and X the number that is less to compare your groups and your categories, okay? Once you're finished, post it to your teacher's Google Classroom and keep up the great work, friends. I will see you again for your last math lesson this week. We will not have a math lesson on Friday because Friday you will take your math brain drain in your teacher's reading group with your teacher, okay? So on Friday, make sure to bring your sealed envelope to your reading group with you so that you can take your math brain drain to show your teacher or your math assessment to show your teacher what you know and what you've learned, okay? For math. Great job, guys. See you tomorrow.